Hey friends, this is the HP DeskJet 2755E. It's a really simple, nice little printer. You can grab it from Amazon if I put some links in the description box below. And in today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up for the first time. We're gonna do a test demo print to help make your life just a little bit easier and get you set up correctly. Now, again, this is kind of a more of a low budget printer. It doesn't offer a ton of features, but it does have a really great wireless option that allows you to print without having to plug cables in. So that is really, really nice. You can also see that ink is included, which is again, a great feature. So you don't have to go buy separate ink. It's also gonna work with most computers using these operating systems here, Mac OS, Windows, and you can even print from your mobile phone, which is really nice. And then you can see their simple setup just happens in minutes. Again, we'll walk you through it. There's a great little app too that you can use straight from your phone. Out of the package, here's everything that's included. You've got a reference guide, a quick startup guide. You've got your power cord, the main printer unit here. There's a few plastic wraps that we took off and a few little things that we need to remove. And then a couple of packets of ink. You're gonna get one that is the tricolor cartridge and then one that is black. Here's a few more little pieces of tape that we have to take out. So basically, we'll undo this door here on the front, and then we can take this little guy out. This wraps around down on the bottom, and you can see that it pulls open this little door. Again, we'll just keep pulling this tape out. And then basically what we do is you take off a little piece of cardboard that protects the side here and lets the printer know it's ready to go. Now, don't forget to take off the little plastic piece that covers the area around the scanner as well. Now we're not going to install the ink just yet. We're going to get things set up first. So what we'll do is we'll just take this door, we'll close it like that, and then we'll go ahead and stick this in the area of our office where it's going to live. Okay, now our printer is going to live over in the corner next to our desk. I'm going to plug the power cable in into a power outlet behind our desk. Again, make sure this is within reach of an outlet or you have a nice extension cord in order to get the reach that you need. Now the power port is located in the back. So basically just pick your power cable and we're going to feed it into the port back there. Okay, with it connected to the power, we can come over here and turn our power on. You'll see the power light blinking here and then it'll go steady when we are ready to power up. So we're gonna see a couple of things upon power up. First, you can see your ink levels down here. You can see those are at zero right now because we need to install our cartridges. You can see the Wi-Fi is searching. Again, we can do that through the app. I'll show you that in a sec. We have a number of pages that are copies. Is it zero? So that's correct. You'll see a blinking light next to the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer. We'll open up the application and we'll get this all set up. Okay, so we're on my computer now and you're gonna navigate using your favorite web browser to 123.hp.com and I'll bring you to this web page. Okay, so first things first, we need to go ahead and enter our product name that we have here. For us, we're gonna enter the Desk Jet 2700. You can see this is the all-in-one series here. We'll click Next. Now we have a couple of options here. As you can see, for the fastest experience, you can switch to mobile and use it on a mobile. Again, because I'm setting it up from my computer, I'm just gonna click on go with the computer version here. Let's go ahead and install HP Smart. Okay, now this is gonna open up an application on my Mac from the App Store. Now, if you're using Windows, this may take you to a Windows-based product, but again, we're doing this from a Mac. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this application. We're gonna go ahead and install it here on our desktop. I'm using a MacBook Pro. Okay, after it's done downloading, we can click open. Okay, as you can see, the application is now open. I'm gonna go ahead and accept the end user agreement, and you also, have the, you also have the ability to manage options down here. As you can see, we can turn on or off some of these things. We definitely don't want to be sending any of these things to HP, just not necessary. Okay, we're gonna come to the setup page, so let's set up a new printer. Gonna get started with a new printer. Now we're searching for printers, but we're not finding anything, so I'm gonna click on printer not listed, and then we're gonna connect the printer to a wireless network doing this, let's hit continue. So we've got our printer on the flat surface. We've got our computer we're using connected to Wi-Fi network. So now we need to make sure the Bluetooth is on on our computer and allow access when prompted. This is what comes up. This smart HP would like to use Bluetooth and we're gonna allow it to use that. And now it should be able to find our printer. And as you can see, the DeskJet 2700 series has come up. So I'm gonna click on that. And then we have to give it access for our current location. I'm gonna click allow on that. 
Okay, as you can see, we need to press the flashing button that's on the printer. We're gonna come over here, you can see the little eye flashing. Let's push and release that. Swing back over to that Wi-Fi button. Okay, the printer's connected to Wi-Fi, let's continue. Okay, and we've got our printer set up. You can see all the printing capabilities here. Let's go ahead and click continue down here. Now I'm gonna hold off on activating this HP Plus at this time. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this down. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert the ink now. Let's go ahead and start with our black ink. And I'm just gonna remove this from the packaging. Now we've got some protective tape on the back of this that just needs to be peeled off. Do not touch these contacts after you've taken the tape off. We'll then open up the ink cartridge door. As you can see, the little cartridges will move over and into place. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, again, this is our black one. We're gonna have that longer edge face towards the printer. And I'm just gonna slide it in this way. It does, the black one goes on the right. We're gonna push until you hear that click. That's in place. We're gonna do the same thing with our tricolor printer ink. Stickers off. And again, we'll put this in the left-hand side. I'm just gonna push back until I hear the click. Good to go. Now the other thing we can check is on our little window, you can see that both sides of the ink are now showing nice and full. We're ready to print. Let's bring up our printer settings and make sure it's installed there. Okay, now again on a Mac, I just went into my settings and I'm going to scroll down here to printers. You can see it's down here at the bottom. Let's click on that. Now you can see I have a bunch of older ones that are set up. And as you can see at this time, the HP Desktop 2700 is green, which means it is available for us. So let's go ahead and try a test print. Now we will need to load some paper in the back. So what I've done is I've just pulled this out and then lift up this top thing, make sure this blue is not in the mix. We need to push that all the way over to the side. If you're using the eight and a half by 11 sheet, you can release that and then paper will slide nice and easily down into the machine, just like that. So you're printing in black and white really easily, really fast. Now there's not a ton of colors on this, but as you can see, that was a really, really quick print. So there you go, friends. That's the HP DeskJet 2700 series. Good little printer, prints really fast, really quickly and wirelessly. So really, really nice. Hopefully that's helped make your shopping experience just a little bit easier. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. Subscribe, stay tuned. We've got a bunch more of these tech tutorial videos to make your life just a little bit easier. We'll see you again on the next one.